The iPhone 16 line is not expected to arrive until 2024, but that hasn't stopped leakers from sharing early information about the standard iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, iPhone 16 Pro Max, which may end up being called the iPhone 16 Ultra. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the world of cutting-edge technology. In this video, we'll be unraveling the mysteries surrounding the release date of the iPhone 16, Apple's latest masterpiece. So, if you're as eager as we are to learn when this next-gen device will hit the market, stick around. You won't want to miss it, and if you find this content valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe to stay updated with all things tech. The iPhone 15 lineup is here, and now we can officially start thinking about the iPhone 16. Naturally, any rumors or leaks you see this early are going to be fluid at best. Even if they are accurate now, plans can and do change, and there's still plenty of time to do so before the iPhone 16 enters production. iPhone 16. Release date. The iPhone lineup is always announced at an event in September and usually ships a week or two later. There have been times when a particular model or variant will ship in October because of supply chain shortages, however. The typical day for the iPhone and Apple Watch event is the second Tuesday in September, which this year is September 12. So we can expect the iPhone 16 line to be announced on Tuesday, September 10, 2024, with pre-orders starting likely on Friday, September 13, and at least some model shipping on September 20. There are some rumors that the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which may be called iPhone 15 Ultra, is going to cost more than the current top-end iPhone, and some say this price hike will extend to the smaller iPhone 15 Pro as well. If that happens, we assume the pricing for the iPhone 16 will also be higher. There's no new information about the pricing of the iPhone 16 line, so it makes the most sense to assume it will cost the same as the iPhone 15 line, at least until we hear otherwise. That means the standard size iPhone 16 for $799 and the larger plus model for $899, while the iPhone 16 Pro may cost $1099 and the iPhone 16 Pro Max might go for $1199. There are a few details about the iPhone 16 lineup so far, except that it should look well like an iPhone. The entire iPhone 15 line now has the dynamic island, so expect that pill-shaped cutout on the iPhone 16 models as well. Some rumors say Apple has found a way to put some of the Face ID sensors under the display, so the iPhone 16 Pro models could have an even smaller camera cutout than the standard models. Ming. Chi Ku and Ross Young both report that the display size on the Pro models will be getting bigger, about 0.2 inches measured diagonally, with a slightly taller aspect ratio. That means the iPhone 16 Pro will have a 6.27 inch display and the Pro Max A 6.86 inch display up from 6.12 and 6.69 inches. The larger size is reportedly necessary to accommodate more sophisticated camera hardware, but will also add a bit of screen real estate. Speaking of the camera, you should also expect to see a larger camera array on the iPhone 16 Pro models due to the inclusion of a periscope super zoom telephoto lens and other new camera tech. The iPhone 15 Pro models were originally expected to introduce new solid-state buttons, but more recent rumors suggest they simply won't be ready in time and will appear on the iPhone 16 Pro instead. Regardless, all iPhone 15 Pro models are expected to feature an action button in place of the mute switch, which should expand to the entire iPhone 16 lineup in 2024. With each new iPhone comes a new a series processor, and you can bet the trend will continue next year. The iPhone 16 Pro will therefore likely feature the i18 Pro processor, while the non-Pro iPhone 16 models could adopt a cut-down version of the A17 Pro that debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro. It is far too early to speculate about next year's chip's features and performance, but it's unlikely that next year's non-Pro iPhones will have the same Pro chip as this year. Report by Ming Chikuwu that Apple will be using Sony's new stacked CMOS image sensor technology in the iPhone 16 Pro models next year, which should mean sensors with greatly increased low-light sensitivity. 
Additionally, Kuo reported in September 2023 that the smaller iPhone 16 Pro will gain the iPhone 15 Pro Max's periscope camera. Weibo account with a proven track record for disclosing accurate information about Apple's plans in saying that the iPhone 16 Ultra, or whatever the high-end model is called, could take spatial photos and videos meant for viewing on the Apple Vision Pro, Apple already introduced the ability to record spatial videos on the iPhone 15 Pro, so it makes sense that Apple will expand this feature to photos on the iPhone 16 Pro. Apple has been hard at work on its own wireless chips for years, and even Qualcomm's CEO expects Apple to use its own 5G modems starting in 2024. Obviously, this is contingent on continued successful development and testing, which has been a challenge for Apple and every other company trying to make top-tier 5G technology. In addition, you can expect Wi-Fi 7 in the iPhone by the fall of 2024. Wi-Fi 6... E is only arriving this year, so it's possible Apple uses it for another year, but there are already a dozen Android phones with Wi-Fi 7, and it would be unusual for Apple to be two years behind if it had to wait until the iPhone 17 in 2020. 5. Naturally, the iPhone 16 line will feature USB-C instead of Lightning for charging and wired connectivity. That change already came with the iPhone 15, and Apple isn't about to backtrack. Prior rumors about Apple attempting to make a completely port-free iPhone seem to have fizzled out. (laughs) 